Re welcome back. We'll put it in that up there and around and back down again to there. Yeah, so I decided ledge back just going under driver's seat. One, because cable's a bit short. Like I said, a bit out about tip. Should have done it before the cap and that went in, but everything I do is always a mission. Got these cable run chasers, absolutely brill. Basically, you get a lot of these rods, little brass ends on them, and screw into it. Um, you just screw them in. That's a flex end, that's what gives it some like movement going up there to it. And then just run your kit, run your piping up here. You get various little, little ends in the back, in the top end here. Oops, yeah, chuck them out. You get different types of attachments, hooks, and stuff. And then you can just pull your cable through or pull your tubing through, and then up it is. And you're good. Right, change of plan with that cable route. Going above the top, all the way along here, and then coming down this pillar, not an option. Problem I've got is, because I've got a double slider, that actually blocks inside here, and there's, it's like a very tiny route you can get through. There is a factory cable going down here, but it looks like it's routed through this middle bit here on that window. So we had to improvise a little bit. So what I've done is put some conduit down there and then took the plate off the front of this floor here and run the conduit all the way along here and then come through the back edge up through the plastics here at the back you see cable on there this will be covered up anyway so I'm actually going to use that as a cable route to be honest with you comes up through there through the back and then I just looped it around there but that then will connect up to this pole here which is for the battery and because the because the van's chassis ground anyway, I don't need to run a a neg wire to it. So then I think what I'm going to do is install the batteries. I was going to go under the passenger seat, but I don't think I'm going to bother now because looking at underneath it now, I think that might be where my uh, diesels will come through. So the batteries are going to go down the back edge there where the wheel arch is, and then I'll run the um, Victron DC charger down that way as well. So it shouldn't be too bad really. Fingers crossed it all works out and it, and it comes to plan. Doors just took over the bed already. There it, George. <laughs> She's shy. It's got chicken pots, so she can't go out. Gutted. You got it, George. Huh? Eh? No. You're wet? <laughs> <laughs> it's like your new bed. Yeah. Is it cool? I'm going to sleep in it all night. You're sleeping it all night? Yeah. You'll be freezing? I won't. You will. <laughs> because, um, it, the doors will be shown and it'll be so warm. Yeah, so I think she's getting used to bed anyway. So let's crack on with this now, tidy it all up, and then put it back together again. See how we get with your roofing wire. Right, so we've just run the lighting cable now, same way as the power cable. Up that pillar there, across the top, and just tie it up to this cable management here, makes it look a bit tidy. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to terminate this one now because I'm not ready for lights yet. And then that should, as it is, there, line up with the actual um, factory light switch in there. So we'll have these coming out because that'll be where the uh, head lining comes to. Right, we've got the clouds in. So that's the uh, roof lining now. Done all that stuff, that done all that fleece. Ran out again. I've got like a square left, that's it. I mean, the back section, yeah. But at least all the mid, mid section's done now. So what I'll do is. I prepared them. These are light cables here, what we've done at the end. Just put a chocolate back on that for the time being. And then um, what I'll do is... This is the original lead lining now. And what we've got here are some little 12 volt lights, LED lights. And I'm going to stick these roughly where I've marked off on here. So I'll put two in this one here. And then... Um, I've got another four more for go in the uh, rear section when I get that. I'm just waiting for some material to come for that now. A couple of samples first to try and see if we can match up like this. This stuff. If not, we'll go in Alcantara, however you pronounce it. Nice tidy finish. Spot on the lights, eh? So roof line's back in now. The original one. Just got a couple of clips that stick in that front edge there if it bring it in a bit. It's a bit saggy because of uh, insulation, but I'm like, bob on them now, two in there. 
what I've done is I've just put the plate back on at the back end, which was the old bulkhead plate. And I'll probably use that and um, cut in, uh, screw into it, you know, with the um, ply line at the back end here. And then here's our tail set lights. Got that one there for the main lights, and then the chocolate block at the back there. I've plugged in the um, other ones in. So now all I've got to do is just get ply line for this back bit here, get this sorted out. Right, so for this second part now, the roof, I've got this um, plywood here, it's got some walls in and that, but not too expect that, to be honest with you. And they're going to carpet it up, and then we're going to pull it on this back section here. So my plan is drop this rear carpet line, uh, the headliner, sorry, put the ply into it so I can mark the template then of the shape of that, going around and cut it around the edges and stuff. So it's tied up a bit nicer there, and we'll get that done. And then for these end bits, I'm going to just put a card template in here and see how that marries up, and then I'll carpet that. Every time I do it, it's me, it lashes down. Look at it. Absolutely bouncing down. Good thing for tailgates. I'm going to look at advertisement for them. Oh, I've got a shadow here as well. You are? Oh, and you're not making a mess, are you? Are you sleeping on the seats? Making a mess. Okay. That's why it takes me ages to do everything. Right, that's roof line inscribed in there. Just holding up that bloody um, drywall holder. Cracking little tools, I'm going to tell you. Absolute bob on. It was about 30 quid. Well, it just makes the job a lot easier. And all I've done here is it's not fastened in yet, like I'm just temporarily doing it, but I've just curved them round there now. Try and get it tied in nicely on the edge. I'll have to make some end caps of that. On here. So we'll just put a little end cap in there and we'll carpet them down as well. Just so it ties in nicely with that. Um couple little gaps here because like I say it was all piece plywood so they'll only be filled in. Fill all my holes in as well I'm at it. And then redo my lights wherever they're going. Be careful with them, you might cut your fingers. These things are mint. Inside it you have a little um solder coil there but then you've got two glue ends which glue the wires together and seal it and obviously it's heat shrink as well get the wire and just push it through and just run it to the middle there and get your next one straighten that edge up push that one through George stop my ring let's get your heat done see solder runs through all the wire wait right, so that's all wiring bit done on there just take these down so we don't flap about it back there but you've just gone for a loop on it and then the left tail end here and that'll join up in cab then when i'm ready for putting it in wait not turned out too bad let's see what looks like when it's in there finally got this roof line in i'm not gonna lie it's been a right faff problem i've had with it is the bloody roof clips um Getting long enough ones for it because I've doubled over, it's just been an absolute pain in the ass. But have a quick toot anyway. It's a lot better than what I thought it'd be anyway. The lights in the top and that, but. And then the edges. So I forget an angle on it, like. See where it's tied in at the top. Into that one. Try to get as best match as I can possible. But because of the insulation what's gone in there and the clips the back ones weren't too bad but the front one because you're going through this at the top that's about that thick you know gauge on it if not more and then i've got the ply which i've used with the uh, foam backed um material on top it's just, the clips i bought originally started off from that then i went slightly bigger and then i ended up ones with like that that size and i tell you what even they struggle for just basically getting to the hole and, and, and grip it and like so i end up cheating a little bit and um, what you'll find is the end two which is like that one there just in front of the light and this one and two back ones ended up tapping them and then putting a bolt in and i actually cut the actual uh, head off the clips and just stuck the clip on top of the 
the head of the bolt like well the self tapper because I just couldn't get it do. I must have spent two days trying to get it stay up. I've had props on it, glued it. It's just been a right you. And I'm happy with it now. I think it's come up all right. I mean, let's have a look at this side here. It's come up quite tidy. There's a couple of marks where I've been bambing away and that, but it has come up a lot better. Just got to finish those end bits off, uh, do a little template of them and then come round with it. But I think all in all, it's come quite tidy, but I was in two minds whether it to be honest with you, it's caused me a lot of hassle keeping that crew cab section in and tying that one into it. Whereas I think if I didn't have the crew cab version I would have just gone halo and then just basically ripped the whole lot out and then put a halo roof in. But they were coming in like just shot off shy of four hundred four and a half hundred quid. And as you know the missus and campers, oh, she's putting a block on them spends lad. So I think next stage now is try and concentrate on other stuff and I get bored of it or uh, it just does me head in after a while the roof I'll just end up ripping out and doing the halo anyway but I think that'll be to a later date so uh, my next stage is now getting the kitchen in down this side probably adjust that seat axle and bring it over a touch give me a bit more room on that one well, there's quite a lot there anyway like let's measure that and see what it comes to but we'll get in there slowly and surely anyway if you like this sort of content usual thumbs up give it a like Subscribe if you want to, and we'll see you on the next one.